Let's uh, catch up then with our reporter, SABC News uh, reporter Ayanda Mshongo, who is at uh, Guaketom Tanda, your palace in uh, Nongoma, in northern Guazuru Natal. Uh, Ayanda, back to you. A very good afternoon to you. I do understand that uh, Nongoma has come to a complete standstill then uh, this afternoon as the body of His Majesty the King uh, arrives. I can see uh, the, the cars and the procession kind of going through there. I understand that uh, you know mourners were kind of uh, surrounding that and people bowing and taking off their hats and so forth, observing you know, tradition and sort of uh, protocols as well. Talk, to, uh, talk us through uh, the visuals and what we're seeing at the moment uh, now from uh, Nongoma. Yeah, very good afternoon to you once again, Flo. As you said, we're coming to you from Boketum Tanda and the convoy that you see now, the vehicles that are coming through. This is this is the convoy that was in Durban earlier on this morning. These are members of the royal family, uh, in, as, as uh, also some of the traditional leaders uh, who this morning went to Durban. to fetch the body of King Goodwill as well. They are now making their way uh, inside uh, the palace. Of course, as we understand, earlier on we had reported that uh, His Majesty's body was going to be taken to the five uh, palaces uh, around uh, Guanungoma before making his way here to Waketom Tandayo. However, there has been changes uh, to that uh, program uh, and now we've been told that His Majesty's uh, body has been taken to a local mortuary and they're no longer going to uh, he will, his body will no longer be taken to the different palaces as we had initially uh, reported but this uh, these are members of uh, the royal family Land All right, we seem to be having uh, problems there with our connection uh, to to Ayanda. Um, of course, she is talking about uh, the fact that members of uh, the royal family and uh, traditional uh, elders and uh, leaders accompanying uh, the body of uh, His Majesty uh, the King that is arriving from Durban this afternoon. Um, it is arriving from Durban and going, of course, it is now at uh, Gua Ketum Tanda, your palace in uh, Gua Nongoma. Let's get back to to uh, Ayanda. Ayanda, back to you. Ayanda, back to you. Take us through what's happening at uh, the moment. I do know you said that uh, this is uh, members of the royal family and uh, the traditional leaders who had gone um, indeed to go fetch uh, the body of uh, His Majesty the King in uh, Durban. And of course now arriving at uh, the palace, we do see heavy police uh, presence at this time. And uh, of course uh, mourners, it's a complete standstill uh, apparently in Nongoma. From what I understand, uh, people are have formed a kind of a guard of honor then uh, around uh, the procession that's uh, coming through to the palace at uh, this time. And uh, we're hearing of uh, people, you know, bowing, of course, as they would generally to a king, uh, taking off uh, their hats. And of course, no doubt, as would be done in the Zulu culture, there is a lot of uh, praise singing has, has also uh, been uh, taking place. But at this time, a standstill really in Nongoma, in uh, Guazuru Natal, uh, the palace uh, where uh, the King has uh, resided, uh, of course. All right, King Goodwill Zuelitini, of course, has been uh, the reigning king of uh, the Zulu nation and uh, the traditional leadership at clause of uh, South Africa's re Republican 1996 uh, constitution. And you would have heard earlier on as we were talking to Royal Zulu historian and uh, history lecturer at the University of Zululand, Shalom Bata. Uh, she also made, of course, uh, that point uh, that he was indeed um, the one of the only uh, kings, of course, uh, recognized at that time um, in the uh, constitution, the longest reigning for uh, 50 years, uh, the longest reigning monarch in uh, KwaZulu Natal, um, and uh, he became a king on the death of uh, his father, 
King Cyprian Begu Zulu in 1968. And of course, you'll hear us uh, referring to him as King Begu Zulu, of course. Uh, let's get back to uh, Ayanda. Um, uh, take us through what's happening at this time, Ayanda. Yeah, good afternoon once again to you, Flo. And as you possibly saw just moments ago, uh, vehicles that were now entering the palace here at Gwake Tomtandai, of course. So these were members of the royal family, uh, including uh, Amakosi um, and other senior leaders of the royal fa family that had made their way. Of course, this morning, as you know, that this was part of the delegation that left um, Guanungoma to go and receive the body of his Majesty King Goodwill's Valentini from the Albert Lutuli Hospital in Durban. Uh, earlier on, Flo, we had reported that uh, the king's body was going to be taken to the uh, six palaces here in Guanungom. And of course, there's been changes now uh, to that as we understand that uh, the body now has been taken to a local uh, mortuary. Uh, and in terms of what is going to happen then in the next couple of days, that has not yet been cleared. We spoke to uh, one of the uh, principal the uh, king's son who said that now that the family is back they were going to now meet to uh, discuss the final details of the uh, king's or preparations rather uh, for uh, his majesty's uh, burial and of course that is going to be communicated then to South Africa in due course. Of course as we know that President Cyril Ramaphosa has accorded uh, King Goodwill as well a special official funeral category one and so the delegation that has gone inside also includes representatives of the KwaZulu-Natal uh, government and the national government that will be uh, now dealing uh, with the final details for the uh, king's uh, funeral. But of course, uh, as you know, uh, outside the uh, palace, scores of people have uh, gathered uh, from the traditional leaders, local community members here uh, from Guanungoma and surrounding uh, areas. Uh, representatives of local gov of government are also here. As many people throughout the day have been making their way here into the palace to pay their respects uh, to the family. The uh, royal household has uh, insisted and uh, issued a statement that was issued uh, by Nkosu Mangosutu Botelez in his capacity as a traditional prime minister to the Zulu monarch and the nation making an appeal to members of the public, making an appeal to South Africans to not come here so that we, they try and at least observe the COVID-19 safety protocols. We're just looking around uh, already uh, here, Flo, there is quite a number of uh, people who are here and speaking to uh, some of the traditional leaders, they're saying that uh, they had to uh, be here in, it, uh, today. It is more importantly for them uh, that they be here representing uh, the uh, different clans and the different areas in which they uh, come from. And they themselves have made that call uh, to the communities around Kwasi Natal, the people of South Africa, to say that details of the funeral, of course the funeral is going to be uh, broadcast and so they were appealing that uh, members of the community do not uh, come here or to any of the other uh, uh, pal any of the other palaces. Of course, it's a very, very uh, somber uh, time, uh, uh, grieving uh, for the Zulu uh, nation. Uh, we are told that the town of Kwanungoma came to a standstill when His Majesty's body was taken uh, through that town. Certainly, uh, the people of this area are in mourning. Earlier on, we were speaking to the Zululand, uh, ma the mayor of the Zululand district, who's speaking about what the, this loss means for them. Speaking Speaking about the role that uh, the king played uh, here in the area of Guanangom and of course across Guazun Natal but this is where he grew up and um, this is his home these are the people that uh, he interacted with mostly uh, uh, on, on a more regular uh, basis he would go around to the different uh, projects would go around uh, to the different areas interact with uh, different uh, community uh, members and so for them the loss is really felt uh, more. Uh, 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 Butelez is telling us that uh, they, they are saddened. They do not know what the future holds for them. Um, the king was a pillar of strength. The king was a, a source of wisdom where there were issues of conflict, where there were issues where they needed guidance as leaders. The king was always available uh, to them and so this has certainly been a great loss 
uh, to the people of uh, Guanungoma and indeed the province. Also uh, speaking uh, to uh, the uh, king's son saying that this is particularly sad for them as a family. As you know, uh, Gossi, uh, King Goodwill Zulatine is the longest reigning monarch uh, in uh, South Africa and this year would have marked 50 years uh, of being on the throne. Of course, he was installed in 1971 and so they were planning a huge celebrations uh, this year uh, for the king and sadly for them it wasn't to be and saying that for uh, the princesses the princes and princesses this is particularly a really really difficult time for them that this was their father he may have been king to many of his subjects but to them he was simply uh, his father simply their father someone they could go to uh, for advice someone they could go to in times of trouble and uh, for the children for the princes and princesses uh, this is certainly he said a very very difficult uh, time uh, for them Flo. All right, Diana, just uh, before I, I let you go, I mean, you know, we are talking at this time and, and you know, it's, it's unfortunate that, you know, we're having to also observe uh, COVID-19 uh, protocols um, and, and, and generally at a time like this, you know, uh, people would be gathered and already I can see that there is really quite a huge number of people that are gathering and we're not even at the time of, of the funeral. Um, in terms of who will be guarding uh, whether or not people do indeed uh, descend or, or, or in fact come to, uh, you know, uh, to where the, the, the king would be, where the funeral will be, who is going to watch for that? I mean, I'm just looking now at the number of vehicles just on the street that you're on and the number of people already, even now, there are people arriving uh, there to, to, to the palace. I mean, I look at the number of, of, of wives and I would imagine their children, their children's children. That number on its own, I'm sure, far uh, exceeds, you know, the, the numbers that we're supposed to have, someone waving there in the background, that we're supposed to have um, when, when we're talking about funerals, what the president has said uh, is being allowed. I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering who's going to be kind of watching over that and making sure that these, these, these protocols are indeed observed because I can imagine a number of, of people you know, in the Zulu nation just wanting to kind of get to the palace as close as possible uh, to, to one of the palaces. Um, you know, who will be watching um, for that and guarding against that? Well, just speaking about that, uh, Flo, um, making some important points, though. In fact, earlier on today, uh, Nkosu Sabutele is in his capacity as the uh, traditional prime minister of the, uh, for the Zulu monarch and the nation. He issued a statement where he was announcing some of the changes. As I said earlier on, he had announced that uh, the king was going to be lying in state for at least uh, three days. However, today in that statement, then saying that they decided against that. But a large part of that uh, statement that he issued, Flo, did speak uh, to the points that you are raising that they of course are very very concerned um, about ensuring that they adhere to the COVID-19 uh, protocols and even mentioned that uh, the uh, king's uh, family um, alone the numbers uh, far exceed the numbers that are being uh, permitted and saying that the funeral is not going to be open uh, to the public and urging members of the public to follow uh, the proceedings that are going to be broadcast uh, on the various uh, uh, channels uh, uh, followed through the uh, media and social media really really making a plea and we also as I indicated had spoken to one of the acting uh, 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 an acting in Gorsi for the Butelezi clan and he again reiterating that message from Gorsi Butelezi on behalf of the royal family to urge people to stay away but I suppose um, Flo it's going to be really really difficult as I was saying that just speaking to some of the uh, people that have come here uh, to pay uh, their respects and they're saying that they simply could not not come uh, they uh, they said that they would, uh, you know uh, try as best to observe a social distance to sanitize and wear their masks but many here saying that it was impossible they could not not uh, be here and um, we understand of the next couple of days that a uh, lot numbers of people are expected uh, to be here but in terms of uh, the uh, royal household and and their attempts just as you at uh, the entrance of the palace there are uh, uh, members of the South African police service in fact I'm going to just move around slowly and ask my colleague uh, Tulani to uh, show you um, as we move around I apologize uh, there but I just want to show you we have members of the 
All right, we've lost uh, that signal, unfortunately, but we are uh, continuing to cross uh, back and forth uh, to uh, Ayanda, who is at uh, Nongoma for us at uh, the palace there. And, of course, uh, the body of His Majesty the King has indeed arrived at uh, this hour.